and there are different styles of doing math, but if you want to get a reasonable good idea, you have to really spend a lot of time just thinking patiently and not getting disappointed somehow, coming back to the same problem and staying somehow confident that maybe one day you will have a good idea. She was extremely focused. And I think she had this attitude that I, you know, when she was, you know, trying to solve a problem that, you know, I can do it, I'm going to, you know, solve it. Whenever she saw an obstacle, that was just a puzzle that you had to go around or over. Like, she didn't really take obstacles too seriously, I think. Rather than asking questions, she would start describing sort of elaborate stories or mathematical narratives. And these narratives were very ambitious and speculative. They were almost like science fiction. She could make these very vague speculations about the shape of the unknown mathematical frontier, quite elaborate and detailed and imagining how things might fit together. And she was very adept at finding the right question. And I think this came from this sort of speculative intuition that she had. She would sort of think ahead as to what the shape of the theory might be that was yet to be discovered.